Um, how large can a bell be? Is there a ratio of system size to bell size? That's a great question, Tom. It's one, it's one that there's um, a few different answers to, and and uh, <clears throat> there's quite a bit of information out there on the internet that talks about um, an ideal bell size for a certain rocket mass heater core size. And I just want to say that in my opinion, we most of our the followers here know this, in my opinion, there really is there is a limit to a large to how large a bell can be. I won't don't want to say there's no limit, but I would like to suggest that the range of bell size is much larger than what you might read in other places and there's a really simple reason for that. The reason for that is if you build a rocket stove with no bypass for starting up when the bell is cold, then you must build the whole system such that the stove can start and generate enough draft even with its bell to drive draw and keep that stove burning and not smoke back. So that's what limits a bell size is how much load it's going to put on the stove in a typical startup situation and whether you're going to start up and start pulling smoke out the house or start up and start blowing smoke into the house. If you don't have a bypass to put heat into the chimney, then the bell size will be limited. And how big? You can look at uh, at, at Donkey's Board, Rocket Stove, um, some, I don't know what it is, it's, it's called Donkey 32 on Pro Boards or Permies and you'll find, you know, or actually Peter's BatchRocket.eu website is probably the best. Um, you can find recommendations for bell sizes, but I throw those right out the window because I prefer to build with a bypass, not just because it lets me get away with a bigger bell, but because it allows me to start up with no issues in every conditions, regardless of what's going on outside or inside. Um, so this is a long way of saying, uh, Tom, that there is some limit to a bell, but in my opinion, it's not worth agonizing too much over. In my opinion, your best bet for planning and designing is fit the heater to your space within reason, of course, um, and incorporate a bypass. And in that way you can, you know, you will have a broad range of what will work in terms of how big a bell can be. There's other considerations. How long do you want to burn versus how long do you want the heat cycle to be? You know, the bigger the bell, the more mass, the longer it's going to take to heat it up, but the longer it will give heat off. So you got a lot of things to consider, but no, you're not really limited by any um, rules as long as you have a startup bypass. If you choose to not have a startup bypass, then I recommend you look at Peter Vandenberg's batchrocket.eu website and he will have some volume recommendations and they go by internal surface area of the bell because that's really what is extracting heat from those gases. Um, so hopefully that answers your question Tom and I'm happy to elaborate more if you want.